Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Interview with Lydia Marakosian, Western Armenia representative to the UN. Are Karutunian issues open later to Vladimir Putin? Artsakh Defense Army, there are local battles in all directions of frontline. The call of the head of the Eagle Suicide Squad Union. The Granagert city of Artsakh. The works in the Harbert fortress of Western Armenia are completed. During the interview with the representative of the Western Armenia to the UN, Lydia Markosian, a number of issues were discussed which mainly referred to the current situation in Artsakh. Mrs. Markosian presented the issue of the illegal occupation of Western Armenia and the vision of the UN on this issue. Analyzing the situation in general, she also referred to the upcoming events. You can watch the interview on our official YouTube channel. President of Nagorno-Karabakh, Aray Karutunyan, has addressed an open letter to Russian President Vladimir Putin calling for Moscow's support to his country amid the ongoing war against Azerbaijan. Dear Mr. President, the Artsakh-Russia relations have a history of centuries. Russia is perceived in the historical memory of Artsakh people as brotherly country which has always assisted this part of Armenians at all difficult moments. The Artsakh-Russia ties have been exercised in the most direct way, especially during the flourishing period of the Artsakh Principality and malignants, of which there is a lot of factual evidence. For more than a century, Karabakh has been part of Tsarist Russia. This historical period was marked for Karabakh by a long-term peace, repatriation and economic development. Cultural life has also developed. It's not worth it that in the second half of the 19th century, Artsakh's administrative political center, Shushi, has become one of the key spiritual, cultural and economic centers in the Caucasus. The Artsakh-Russia close ties continue till today. A large part of nearly 3 million Armenians living in Russia are from Artsakh. Among them, there are many people forcibly displaced from Artsakh due to the Azerbaijani genocidal and ethnic cleansing policy carried out in the late 1980s and in the 1990s. We highly value Russia's and in particular your diplomatic efforts aimed at stopping the aggression and large-scale war unleashed by Azerbaijan against Artsakh. I also want to inform you that your assessment on the current situation voiced during the speech at the Valdai Club met a great reaction in the Republic of Artsakh and among all Armenians. You have stated in your speech. This conflict started not as an interstate conflict and a fight for terrorists, it started from ethnic confrontation. Unfortunately, this is a fact. Brutal crimes were committed against the Armenian people in Sumgate, later in Nagorno-Karabakh. We must take into account, unfortunately, till now Azerbaijan continues its genocidal policy. Dear Mr. President, you are the personality and the head of state who has a huge reputation in the world and in our region. Taking this into account, I ask you to make all possible efforts to stop the war in the Azerbaijani Karabakh conflict zone and to resume the political processes, the President of Artsakh said in his letter. You can find the full text of the letter on our website. During the night, the situation in the Artsakh-Azerbaijani conflict zone remained relatively stable and tense. The Artsakh Defense Army on Saturday morning informed that the artillery battles and exchange of fire continued in some areas. In the evening and once again grossly violating the norms of international humanitarian law, the enemy forces shelled the peaceful settlements of Artsakh, including the capital Stepanakert. Currently, local battles are taking place in all directions of the front line, but the Defense Army units successfully prevented the adversaries' offensive operations keeping the operative tactical situation under their control. Almost a month after the attack of the Turkish-Azerbaijani joint troops and the army of the terrorists, this battle which turned into a patriotic war pushed us to talk to the people, to ourselves, to think about the past, to know what we will do here and in the battle. The one fighting against us is not an enemy but a collective terrorist gang that is fighting as much as it has weapons. The head of the Eagle Suicide Squad Union, Major General Asfad Zadur Petrosyan, mentioned during the press conference yesterday. We fought in 1990s, we gave the best officers to the army, we gave heroes. We cannot be indifferent now. The group of 100 members that went to the front has 5 dead and 3 missing. Now some of them are in the enemy's territory. The Turkish army has joined Azerbaijan with its entire corps leadership, starting from the head of defense fighting against the general troops of our general staff and ministry of defense. High Iraqian military forces are fighting and Turkey has taken over the entire leadership of the war. The entire general staff, the army, the army of terrorists is led by the Turkish army which has
has a million and a half troops, which has three armies located on the Armenian-Turkish border armed with high technology. It is an army armed with anti-aircraft units with 10 times more tanks and air units, but our military was able to fight an implicit dozens of casualties. According to the Major General, the Armenian army has now replenished its ammunition. I call on all Armenian people not only to transfer their money to the foundation, but also transfer their experience. I call on everyone to unite and take part in the war. We are not going to die but to live. Because God has laid his hand on us, the homeland is not only painted with blood, we must live and fight the terrorist groups of Turkey to expel and destroy Turkey. The Granagert is a historical Armenian city dating back to the Hellenistic period. It is one of the several former cities in the Armenian plateau with the same name named in honor of the Armenian king, the Grand the Great. Although some scholars such as Robert Hussein and Babgen Harutunyan have mentioned that this particular Tigranagert may have been founded by Tigran the Great's father Tigran I. It occupies an area of about 50 hectares and is located in the province of Askeran in the Republic of Artsakh, approximately 4 kilometers south of the Khachenaget River. You can read the full article on our website. In the historical fortress of Harbert, Western Armenia, which was built during the Urartian Kingdom and bears traces of various civilizations, the excavations works of 2020 were completed. Archaeological excavations and restoration work continued in the Harbert fortress. The fortress is included in the temporary list of UNESCO World Heritage. As a result of seven years of work in a castle, 110,000 ancient objects were found here. Now let us represent to your attention a song by Karno Row of Songs. Sanjure Pahele, Kamenze Rastarele, Sheik Mazavor Achik, El Kreskel Kestarele. You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.